American Idol, the recap for season 11, and I'm Diana Watt, and I'm here to give a quick recap of my opinion on American Idol. Okay, so first of all, I haven't watched in several years because I went to American Idol auditions, and I know how the show works. If you've never been to an audition, this is how it goes down. All the people come, thousands of people, their family members, the singers, and what happens is they set up these tables in the middle of the big arena and they line people up five at a time. You get 10 seconds to sing. You step forward, you sing, you step back, and they say no, 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 no. And then a really bad singer comes along and they say yes. And they put through about 150 singers in each city. And in years past, 75 of them, at least, were horrific singers. Now, this means that literally hundreds and hundreds of great singers go home from auditions of American Idol, never ever seeing the judges. Now, what happens after that is that the singers who made it through the first round go through two to three more rounds of auditions before they see the judges. By the time they see the judges, about a month and a half to two months has passed since their first audition. They've been told they're wonderful over and over again by the producers of American Idol. And yeah, you can do it. You've got it. And they go into that audition, clueless or not, believing they actually have a shot to go to Hollywood because this has been a two-month process for them. The way the show makes it look is that they show up one day and they see the judges that very day. It doesn't work that way. So they've been led down crazy lane for two months by American Idol, and then American Idol films it to make it look like, wow, they just walked on off the street, sang that horribly, and really thought they were going to go through. No, American Idol feeds the crazy, and they feed it lots of high sugar fructose syrup to let them really go nuts and think they're good. And then they film them like, wow, can you believe they actually thought they were good? So when you know that about American Idol, you kind of don't really care for the whole month and a half long of look at these bad auditions. Now today was a little different because I thought personally that they put through more good singers on the initial show. I thought they spent less time making fun of people and more time showcasing talent, which after all is what the show is supposed to be about. There were a couple of great singers. If you are not doing the Joy Hop by tomorrow, you should be. It was cute. That girl's got spunk. I can't wait to see what she has to offer for the show. David was the first young man who came through. He looks 12. He's actually 17. He sounds 12. But hey, if it works for Justin Bieber, it can work for him too. There were lots of good singers. I really loved the girl from the South. I loved, I think her name was Savannah or Samantha. She was super tall, played volleyball. Her dad was in baseball. She was good. Um, I, what I really like about this panel, I didn't think I would like them at all. I like that there is no sickeningly sweet, oh, you're wonderful, make everybody sound, you know, hopeful, and then let somebody else be the bad guy. And that's the dynamic between Paul and Simon, and I love Simon, but the dynamic between Paul and Simon all through American Idol and now on X Factor is that she says how wonderful and great everybody is, sweet, 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 and then Simon has to put down the hammer. And... I don't like that. I What I do like is that Stephen, um, J-Lo, and Randy seem to be on the same page. If you're bad, they're going to tell you you're bad. If you're good, they're going to say you're good or at least good enough to get through to Hollywood round. So I'm liking that about American Idol. I'm going to post a few things what other people said so far about the show on my um, edits. There was not a lot to say when you're watching, you know, the audition phase of it. But as American Idol goes along, please tweet me. Tell me what you think of it. I will post your comments in these video recaps and who you favor and who you want to see go further. Um, I thought they put through a lot more people this year, this first day city than they normally put through. So maybe they know they really have to change up their... Um, formula for putting people through instead of going with this hokey mostly bad singers and a handful of people that only fit a certain mold 
Um, and that's what they've been doing for years. This just very select. We're looking for a blonde guy. We're looking for a this, a that. So we'll only pick a very few. And then when they let, end up not having a great deal of talent because they've let thousands of people go who were talented, um, I'd like to see some diversity and some changes in the American Idol um, selections. Let's see if they can change it up a little bit. All right. That's all I really had to say about American Idol Night. What do you have to say? Let me know. Bye.